Wells Fargo brand. Must be a rider around. Let's cut a circle. Hey, Gallagher! Bandits, hold up, man. High tailor for Carsonville. You suppose the same bandits we've been following for the past week? Kind of looks like their work. Stoney, you stay with him, bring in the mail. I'll see you in town. Right, I'll see you in Carsonville. Thousand gold. You're new here, aren't you, soldier? Nope. Just never been on this detail before. Got it right here for you. Happy? Yeah, we'll be spending it tomorrow night. Thanks a lot. See you later. things at the bank today. Oh, fine. Mailed in yet? No. Gil is late today. But, but the voucher. That soldier. The mail isn't in yet. How did he, where did, I don't get it. What are you talking about? The messenger was just held up down the road. Ben? Oh, then that was it. And they got the money. What money? A soldier. He had the voucher for the Army payroll. 23000 There was a pair of them. One stayed outside. You gave our pay to the wrong man. He had the voucher. It was all in order. I've got his receipt. How could you make yeah, such a mistake? Yeah, what am I to tell my boss? He was a soldier and he had the voucher. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You Army men go back to the post. Notify your commanding officer and tell him not to do anything about the payroll until he hears from me. Say, who are you giving orders to the Army? I'll let you know that when the time comes. We've been following these men for the past two weeks. Now they're only a jump ahead of us. I'll get started. Don't say anything about this for a few days. I'll tell you when. Ought to be right past the rock. Down in that valley. Yeah, that's where it is. Come on. All right, boys, let me see those papers. Here you are. We just knocked over the Army payroll. I know all about that. How much did we get? Never mind about that. The underground's got to get it cut, too, you know. Don't worry, Fisco. You'll get it. But nobody's taking care of any money from me. Understand? A tough one, huh? Get rid of those uniforms, duck those Army saddles, and get out of sight. 
Come on, Matt. Here's the schedule, Mr. Gallagher. Thanks. I see. Yeah, let me look at that. Just a minute. That's government property. My partner and I are government men. Did you find anything, Stoney? Just, uh, this. Hmm. Can you describe these hold-up men? Uh, they was masked. One was taller than the other. That's a big help. Well, the tall ones seem rougher than the other. Now they work fast. Seem to know what they was doing. But everybody knows we don't carry money on that route. And they ask about money. That was just to throw you off. Doesn't make sense. They make sense. $23,000 worth. Can't you tell us anything more? Well, one call the other Jim. Now there's a real clue. Not much help. But I'm sure it's the same two we've been following. They've operated like this before. Then that's why you men are after them. You said it, brother. Come on outside, Stoney. You men will keep our identity a secret, won't you? Yeah, sure. sure. Thanks. Found this in one of the mail sites? No, it was around where their horses stood. There's track, but that's your specialty. Rock candy. Imagine, a candy-eating hold-up man. Fuel said one was much tougher than the other. Called Jim. Rock candy. Not much of a clue, but it's the best one we've had. You know, this is beginning to picture. Maybe we'd better frame it. Let's get busy. Let me see that army voucher. Bandit writes a good hand. That's necessary to be a forger. One of them was a smiling sort of fellow. The other one, the one who stayed outside, was surly looking. Would you know him if you ever saw him again? Mister, I'd know that pair any place, any time. The one outside, too? I could see him through the door. Better lock this up in your safe. And thanks. Oh, uh, you better start wearing a gun, just in case. Must be part Indian. It's there if you can read it. They headed west, huh? Mountain country and rocks ahead. And yeah, not even an Indian can track over rocks. You know, Stoney, that feeling you get when somebody's watching you? Yeah. Well, I've got it now. Strong. Me too, but uh, I can't see a soul. I still get that feeling. Hold it, Tony. Well, tell me all about it. These are the same tracks. They're our boys, all right. They're heading right toward those hills with all the rocks on them. Well, I guess we'll have to comb the hills. A lot of hills for just the two of us, but let's get started. Hey, Matt. Yeah? I don't trust that Fisco no how. He's got his eye on our money. Well, I don't know. He's part of the underground. Wouldn't dare pull nothing. Yeah, but I don't figure he's honest. You know, Matt, I think we could make a break out of here. He says the soldiers have got us blocked. I've been thinking. There's only one man in town seen us good enough to recognize us. Oh, Jim, take it easy. And with him out of the way... I don't like it, Jim. I ain't taking you along. 
You stay here and keep an eye on Frisco. And watch that money. Well, be careful. Don't worry about a thing, Matt. I'll have an airtight alibi. Looks like that fellow's headed for Carsonville. Down by that cabin, I can make out a horse, but I can't see a man. One fella going to town and the other in the cabin. Say, maybe that adds to something. Well, it's something we can sure check. There's only one fellow who can identify those bandits. Oh, that uh, bank man, uh, uh, Charlie Wall. That's right. He's our main witness. He might be getting in trouble. You check the cabin. Cozy place you got here. Yeah, we like it. What's your business, stranger? Horses. But I've been looking for a couple of friends of mine, and I just can't seem to catch up with them. Now, uh, who might these fellers be? Well, one's Billy Karen, and uh, Hank Jackson's the other one. You ever hear of them? Never did. What do they look like? Well, uh, one's taller than the other. That's Billy. He's kind of quick-tempered and rough. And Hank is uh, a little shorter and kind of easy-going, like. Sounds like most anybody. Y yep, most anybody. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. Looks like we need some water. Come through Carsonville? Yeah. Any excitement? No excitement. The country's kind of dead. the bank teller? Yeah. What about it?
where Charlie Wall lives? He lives over on the edge of town, east of ways. Is this fellow a native? Nope, he just rode in. Did you ever see him before? Not that I know of. He looks sort of familiar-like, uh, but I couldn't say for sure. Pardon me, stranger. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, what's on your mind? Well, I'm looking for a couple of friends of mine. Thought you might know them. Where are you from? I'm from a lot of places. Yeah, I know that, but I'm in the last place. I don't like nosy people. That's none of your business. Kind of touchy, aren't you? Well, maybe you got a reason to be. been shot. I just found him out by the corral. Badly? I don't know. Keep an eye on him. I'll check on the condition of walls. Right. Fellow's gone. What happened? He got away. You never will have it. You hear that somebody describe you and Jim? He did. Get out. I heard there were snoopers in these here hills, and this here is one of them. Well, what are we going to do about it? Do? Shoot him, of course. Now, don't do nothing about that till Jim comes. be caught before now. This one's gonna die. Well, we all gotta die someday, but uh, I'd advise you not to try it on me right now. Wait for Jim, I tell you. That's a good idea. Wait for Jim. Shut up. Jim ain't giving me no orders. Oh, come on! 
on, hit him. You must be getting out of condition. How's yours? Oh, he's as cold as this one. Look at this. This is a lead on the underground of criminals we've been hearing about. Oh, good. Army identification. That man's a deserter. Yeah, that's how they knew so much about that payroll voucher. Oh, say, I uh, found this piece of rock candy in this other fella. Well, I guess that about does it. Let's get our prisoners into town. Come on. Come on. There's your money, mister. There's your prisoner. I guess we'd better wire Washington and tell them our job's done. Yeah, they'll get the book thrown at them. They got them for robbery, forgery, desertion. Don't forget the murder of Charlie Wall. I ain't no bounty jumper. That was Jim. Keep your mouth shut, Matt. He signed up just to get the money for enlisting and then let out. That's how he got the uniforms. Next time you sign anything, it'll be a prison record. Uh, you're eating the evidence. Well, that ain't evidence. That's just a little old clue. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>